Hey everyone, Brett Young with Building SP. Today we'll be showing a demo of reality computing combined with building information modeling and generative design. We have our software, GenMEP, loaded on top of Revit and we have a point cloud of a mechanical room within which we will route. Here is a recap view of the mechanical room and we'll open it up within Revit and for clarity we'll hide the point cloud. Now we modeled the start and the end of the pipe and conduit that we want to route. By clicking you pair up the start and the end point and then apply a parameter or two and you get a route. We'll do that again for another conduit route. Now, the real power is when you get rid of the clicking and you do it in a data-driven way. Here, here you have the remaining pipe and conduit being routed within the mechanical room. We'll now turn back on the point cloud and you can observe how the routing we've created has generatively avoided the uh, infrastructure that we already had in the room. Note the conduit in the foreground, how it held to a parameter-driven elevation, but avoided the clash with the point cloud and got under a collision. You may be wondering where we have the generative design component evident here in our work. Well, we're not showing every iteration that the algorithm created in order to compute the final route. We're only showing the final route. We know you're not likely to care if the pipe collides with another pipe. That route doesn't work. Think for a moment about the workflow that we've created. We've eliminated the requirement to do clash detection. And beyond that, we didn't have to convert the point cloud into a Revit model. In fact, as part of another video, we'll demonstrate that the algorithms will avoid any element you put into Revit. That would include a LinkedIn CAD file or a duct file or anything that you would model within Revit. Anyway, thank you for watching. And you can find out more info about who we are and what we're doing at www.buildingsp.com. And we're active on Twitter and LinkedIn. And we look forward to hearing from you.